Hello soap fans, Amber here from Daily Drama, stepping in for Bradford Anderson to bring you the latest Young and the Restless spoiler for the week of August 5th, brought to you by DailyDrama.com. There's some jaw-dropping stories coming up, so let's dive in and get into it. Stress levels are rising in the Abbott household, but Jack isn't going to let that get in the way of romancing his wife. The week kicks off with Jack going above and beyond to sweep his wife off her feet. This is exactly what Diane needs to ease the tension and get back to the way things were. As long as everything goes to plan, that is. Speaking of tension, expect the bad blood between Phyllis and Sharon to boil over. Phyllis knows all too well what happens with when Sharon isn't quite herself. And while she's been patient this far, she's not anymore. Phyllis reaches the end of her rope with her rival and lets her have it. As if having Phyllis on her case isn't enough for Sharon, she continues to deal with visions of Cameron on Tuesday. She's haunted by the hallucinations and it's causing her a great deal of emotional pain and turmoil. Something has to give or Sharon is going to fall completely apart. Watch for Victor and Nikki to kick the next step of their plan into high gear. This time, they finish some unfinished business with Lily and Nate. Does this mean they're going to try to get them on their side? Will they fully admit everything Devon told them is true and bring them in on the scheme? Now that Jack has made things right with his wife, he attempts to get Kyle to at least make peace with Summer on Wednesday. Harrison needs his dad and his mom. No, not Tara. So the fighting has to stop. The custody battle, the snide remarks, and all the insults have to end. It's high time Summer and Kyle put Harrison first. That same day, Lily begins to deeply second-guess partnering with Billy. He's shown her quite a few red flags so far, and she fears that it'll only get worse from here. Is she doing the wrong thing by aligning herself with him, even if she's playing a game? Perhaps she should go have an honest discussion with the Newmans. Thursday is a big day for Chelsea and Adam. They finally bring their son home. Connor is ready for his fresh start. He's learned a ton of coping skills and is confident he can manage his OCD outside of the hospital. Will being back in Genoa City set him off though? Will his parents overstep and send him reeling again? What little grace Kyle and Summer had for each other completely disappears before it even has a chance. Not surprisingly, it's something Claire does that sets the couple into another battle. She may regret taking the nanny job when it's all said and done. The week ends with a fiery showdown between Phyllis and Diane when they push each other's buttons. It's all fun and games until mud is slung and feelings get hurt. Diane and Phyllis are both playing with fire here. Which one of them will get burned? As if that's not enough drama, Victor puts in a call to help his granddaughter. Will he ensure Summer gets custody of Harrison? Is he about to pull out the old trick of paying off a judge to get the desired results? If so, this is going to cause quite a mess for months to come. Do you want more spoilers? Check out dailydrama.com for all your spoilers, recaps, news, and to sign up for our newsletters and giveaway. Download the app on your iPhone to keep it all right in your pocket. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any more exciting content.